So this is quite possibly going to be the first 4K video tutorial for Ableton. And you can see the resolution here. Basically, Ableton is looking tiny. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this. And look at that. That's just insane. One of the things about this uh, interface is that with live, we can adjust the scale. So this is fantastic. I'm going to come down here to look and feel. I'm going to zoom the display. And we're going to increase this. So there we go. We got ourselves a ultra high resolution version of Ableton Live. So if you're running on a Retina device, this is going to look nice and crisp because the normal interface doesn't look crisp on Retina. So that's just one thing to think about. So to show off the 4K, um, I'm going to do a little simple thing, actually. I've got a few tunes that um, I've prepared because I want to do something with these, some sampling things, maybe some re-edits or whatever. Um, let's have a listen to this. I'm going to dive in. Okay, I'll tell you what I could do. Um, so this is going to be a little tutorial, and I'm going to show you something here. Let's have a quick listen. Just going to set the beginning over here. Just trigger that. Okay, I've just heard something there that caught my ears, and um, I'm thinking there could be something in this. So I wonder if it's this one. Let's go to set the first one. Yeah, you know what? I actually like that, but this is almost as if we could do with reversing the kind of order, not reversing the order, but changing the order. I'll tell you what it is. Starting here, let's put the loop on. This is gonna make sense soon. So look, let me just focus on this again. This is how it is in terms of the um, kind of bar and beat structure. So if you've got one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Let's have a listen again. So look, what I'm talking about was this. So listen again, you go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. But what's going on here is that I actually want to make that the beginning and then to come back over here. So this is what we do with live. We flip this. So the start point begins here, but it loops back over here. So let's have a listen to that. Okay, so maybe that's not exactly what I want. Let me try over here. Maybe it's this one. So it's actually a really interesting loop. But you see what I'm doing here is instead of playing from the beginning of the loop, I'm playing from the middle of the loop. get some really interesting little vibes coming through and the great thing is is we can command D to duplicate and start somewhere different so look instead of it being there let's go halfway through again now nah, let me try this one so what I'm trying to encourage you guys to do is to think a little bit differently when you're doing your loops go about halfway and instead of going from beat one, just go halfway through the loop. Two, so that's one, two, three. So instead, so beat three. Sorry, this is a bit of a slapdash tutorial because um, really I wanted to experiment with this 4K, you know. I hadn't planned this at all. Let's try again. So we end up getting different things compared to the original. So if you're a re-edit person, sorry, I'm just also turning my level down over here. If you're a re-edit person, think about switching this stuff up in this way. So don't start from the beginning of the bar, go halfway through the bar and loop back two beats beforehand. So you set your loop brace here and then just adjust the start point. It's very interesting, maybe even on other beats as well. More logical here. Maybe go about halfway over here. And of course, I need to do some fine tuning on the warp markers there, but that was just for speed. So, quite possibly the first 
worldwide 4k tutorial not necessarily the most effective but if there's something to learn from this video it's literally just that little looping thing so don't loop from the beginning loop about halfway through just experiment create different clips and uh, then you can trigger these around